uh, welcome, um, especially to those who have uh, weathered the storms this morning and uh, have been able to make it into uh, to London. Um, welcome to this meeting on the structural transformation, growth and development in low-income countries. It's uh, hosted by the, uh, uh, the DFID ESRC Growth Research Program, uh, which is a program that aims to uh, su support uh, or that's supporting high-quality um, uh, research on growth in low-income countries. And um, uh, ODI is currently hosting the, um, the evidence and policy group that is trying to, uh, to uh, synthesize uh, findings uh, that come from, uh, from this research program. The research program at the moment is, um, is, uh, uh, has about 18 grants uh, outstanding um, uh, in the area of finance, uh, and growth, agriculture and growth, and uh, innovation and uh, growth. Um, so today's debate is on uh, structural transformation, and that's for, that's for uh, a number of reasons. Um, first of all, structural transformation is an important area uh, that uh, underlies um, uh, the, the research uh, in the call for um, uh, in the calls of the different ERC growth research program, uh, both in terms of how agriculture links into the rest of the economy when it grows, uh, in terms of innovation, and in terms of financial uh, the financial sector how it can support uh, uh, structural transformation. Um, and uh, but it's not just an area of where we currently do research in. It is also an area w which is uh, important in the current policy debates. Mm -hmm. Um, it, uh, it has been important for a number of decades, of course, four decades ago, many people talked about structural transformation already, but now it's come again to the forefront, and it's been led by, uh, in particular, African countries. African countries and the African uh, Development Bank, uh, uh, as one example, has put structural transformation, the movement from low productive, uh, productive activities to high productivity activities, um, at the forefront of their, of their strategy. And it's also an important area uh, for uh, for donors and, uh, and and debates amongst donors, uh, uh, there are um, a range of, uh, uh, of of donors, and we're hoping to hear from DFID in a minute. Um, for instance, to talk about the, the emphasis they, they might play on, on structural transformation in the future, uh, but also if you think about the post 2015 discussions, where we need to think about uh, the, the, as a community about new development goals, then uh, then many debates talk about transformational shifts in a number of areas, and one of those shifts is, uh, is is also about uh, shifting toward uh, 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 high productivity activities um, um, that include uh, also uh, potential for job uh, creation. Um, we have got two questions for uh, for debate. Um, uh, the first one is about uh, what is structural transformation, where has it happened, um, do we know where it has happened, do we have actually have the data to, uh, to think about this, um, and secondly, um, how, how does this happen, uh, how do countries structural transform themselves uh, when they move from low, income, uh, low uh, productivity to high productivity activities. Um, and we've got a, um, a stellar cast to, uh, to help us th work through these, uh, these questions. And uh, in the process, we have had to, uh, because of the storm, we've had to structural transform the presentation <laughs> a little bit. Um, uh, we will he hear first from, uh, uh, from uh, Nick Lee, who we think is on the telephone at the moment, who is the um, senior economic advisor to the chief economist. And he will tell us about, um, about um, uh, what he thinks ab uh, about structural transformation and the sort of things that we should be thinking about. We'll then hear uh, uh, from three grant holders in the, in the DGRP, um, and we, we are currently today uh, uh, and tomorrow having a workshop with, uh, with most of the grant holders, and th there's, there's uh, three of them who, who, who will be able to talk uh, both about their research but also about the other work relevant uh, for, um, uh, for, for the topic. Um, we'll first turn to Maggie McMillan, who was also a victim of the, the storm, who, who has been uh, kind enough to, uh, to uh, uh, to be available through, uh, through Skype from the US. Um, and uh, we then move to uh, Andres Dutoy, if I pronounce it uh, correctly, um, who's come from, uh, from South Africa uh, in the Land and Agrarian Studies Plus. Um, and uh, uh, he'll tell us about um, uh, well the rural farm and the non-farm uh, economy and linkages uh, and some other areas about structural transformation, maybe also areas where it doesn't always work well. 
Um, and then we move to, uh, to Francis fr uh, from uh, the African Center for Economic Transformation. Um, and uh, he'll tell us, uh, hopefully, about, uh, the, the, we'll give the preview of, uh, of this uh, publication on, uh, on, uh, on, transfer, uh, on the African Transformation Report, which, uh, which is particularly about structural transformation. So we've got an excellent cast here, and uh, what I propose to do is, uh, is to ask speakers to, to, uh, to speak for about uh, 10 minutes uh, each, and then after that we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll have um, a discussion on the major themes that are, uh, that are coming out. Um, so with further ado, um, um, I should also say that um, the meeting is recorded and actually uh, there should be as many people he uh, here as there are online, so also welcome to the viewers uh, uh, online and they will be able to, uh, to ask us any questions and I sh they should appear on, uh, on the iPad here in front of me.